Hey guys, we're back and uh, we've done the math on our tiny house on how to calculate our rafter lengths. Now we're actually gonna have to lay the rafter out. And these guys have built their tiny house here. Uh, this group has, they've got a common rafter here. They've got their king post. They've got their ridge board and they're starting to install their face boards on their building, okay? So what I wanna show you in this video is how to lay out the common rafter. Okay, this is the common rafter. This particular part here referred to as the plum cut at the ridge. This particular cut here is called the seat cut. This is the plum cut of the, or this is called the bird's mouth. This is the plum cut of the bird's mouth. And this is what we refer to as the seat cut of the bird's mouth. Okay, this is what we refer to as the plum cut at the overhang. The overhang is measured at a right angle back to the building like so, okay? In this particular case, the overhang is four and a half inches to the, to the end of their rafter tail, plus the one and a half inches for the thickness of the face board is gonna give them a six inch overhang. And if you look back here, you can see they do indeed have a six inch overhang, okay? From the outside of the wall sheathing to the outside of the face board should be six inches. So. Step one in doing this, we're using a 612 angle on this, okay, a 612 unit rise. So what that means is for every 12 inches over this rafter travels, it travels up six inches, okay? So over 12, up six, over 12, up six is how we're going to do that. So this is referred to as the run. This is referred to as the rise. Now we come over here. So our little rafter we're gonna do, normally a rafter would be made out of a much bigger piece of material if you're using it on a house, but on a, on a small, tiny house like this, we're just gonna use two by fours. The first cut we're going to, the first angle we're gonna mark is our center of our ridge, okay? Right here, we're going to mark the center of the ridge as a reference point. Reference point. We've already done the math in another video and we calculated the length of this rafter is 26 and 13 16 inches from the center of the ridge board down to the plumb cut of our bird's mouth. This distance here is what we refer to as the line length of our rafter. Here is 26 and 13 16 inches. We've already done that and that's in another video on our channel here. So I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget it on my lumber. The first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark a 612 angle. We've learned how to do that in class already. We're gonna take the six on the tongue of our square here and the 12 on the blade of our square. We're gonna take a, we're gonna put the six there. I put it all the way flush to the end of my rafter. I'm gonna put a 12 there. So I have six there on the tongue, 12 on the blade, and I mark it just like so, all right? This is the long point, this is the short point. This point here refers to the center right there. Now mathematically, I'm gonna measure down from this line, 26 and 13 sixteenths. And I'm gonna put a mark right at the top edge of my board, just like so, a small mark. Now, if you look at my framing square, I always hold the tongue in my right hand and the blade in my left. My six and 12 hasn't moved. I just slide it down to that mark till the tongue hits the mark. I make sure I'm on six and 12 again. And I'm just gonna mark this up about halfway, okay? Cause this is the mark right here, the plumb cut of my bird's mouth, all right? The next thing I'm gonna do so I don't get confused is I'm gonna mark the overhang. I need to mark the overhang four and a half inches away here and cut this off. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna slide my framing square back. I need to measure this over at a right angle. Okay, I'm measuring at a right angle. So I'm gonna come over here and I'll mark one, two, three, four and a half inches. Okay, so I have it on the angle here. I measure over four and a half inches. Again, I'm gonna take my framing square back to the six and the 12. I slide it over to my mark. And I'm gonna mark that as well. So now we have the center of our ridge marked. We have the plum cut of the bird's mouth marked and we have the tail cut marked. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the seat, mark the seat cut. Now the seat cut here is four inches long. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take my framing square, I'm gonna point it towards my heart. I'm gonna lay it right down on that same line, the plumb cut of my bird's mouth. 
until it reaches the four there. And I'm gonna mark that back like so. That's going to get notched out just like that. Now the last thing I need to do is subtract this three quarters of an inch here for half the thickness of my ridge board. So I'm gonna come back to the first plumb cut that I made. And again, I'm gonna measure over at a right angle, three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna put it back on six and 12. Mark that. And then I just scribble out my reference line. Okay, so now you've laid out your common rafter. And if you look at it, we have, we sat it up here, we have the plumb cut at the ridge. If we look over here, we have the plumb cut at the ridge here. We have our bird's mouth notched out, and we have the plumb cut at the rafter tail. And it's a four and a half inch overhang. There's a few different ways to lay out a rafter. This is just one simple, easy way to lay out what we refer to as a common rafter, all right? All right, thanks guys.